The reason why I have the camera ready is that uh, I had to call these guys back. He already came by today and uh, didn't drop off because uh, he was still under the impression I owed him money. So I had to call up HQ again and uh, complain and say get him back here today. So I knew he was coming shortly. So I pulled out the camera and uh, here he's showing up. I pulled the camera away quickly because I didn't want him freaking out that uh, I was uh, filming him without his permission. Now well, let's see what we got. Signal generator, ninety-one dollars. Oh, great peanuts! That's why I'm doing it outside. I knew this was going to happen. You don't want peanuts in the house. That's why. Frickin' things. That could better work. Excellent. It's heavy. Forty five pounds or whatever. Look in a picture. That's a little scuffed up. But if she works, all right. All the buttons are there. Okay, I'm going to take this inside and set it up. Well, here it is. Got it on the bench, fired up. So it starts up that way. And, you know, I didn't go through the manual I've got. I just wanted to see what's going on with this. So we got this place. 520 megahertz. Down frequency. Buttons feel good. Up frequency.
going down. Those are uh, LCD displays, so I'm not sure if you're able to see that, but uh, that's working. Carrier frequency. I don't know what the hell I'm doing yet, so I'm just punching buttons here and just uh, seeing. Uh, modulation oscillator. Oh, okay, that's just this guy here. Selecting our 1 kilohertz, I guess the standard. Uh, carrier frequency, let's try carrier frequency 27. No, no. How do I clear that now? Don't know how to clear that. Go. Carrier frequency 27.405. Nah. Try that again. 27.405. Got to push the buttons in, so that went in there. So I'm assuming carrier frequency 27.405 megahertz. Now, in regards to getting some kind of modulation and level, uh, I got carrier frequency. So uh, let's punch the AM button here or RF level. I don't know which. Let's go AM. Okay, that don't work. RF level. Go back to AM, 20, okay, no, now I'm adjusting modulation. So let's go 25 on AM, and I think I got a percent button here, percent dB. I got a microvolt as well, millivolt, volts. Let's go with uh, microvolt. I think the standard is not doing anything. Okay, I punched the percent button, it goes 25%. Punch this button. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I already said that. Let's hook up the scope here. And let's just see if I got anything showing up. Didn't come with any leads. So I'll have to make something up. Okay, so I think I got something there. We're not short notes. getting noise there. Just make sure I got something figured out here. So I got a and trigger on A. I haven't used this scope in a while so I'm a little rusty on that as well too. Triggered. Thing does work. Okay, I'm just calibrating on the uh, internal signal. So it is working. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing here yet. All right, I got this thing figured out. Carrier frequency twenty seven four zero five zero zero megahertz. Uh, twenty five percent modulation. And uh, 7 dBm, which I think was a maximum, was a 2 volt, I do believe. But, now that I got that configured, hooked up to the output here, take a look at the scope. RF signal, 27405 megahertz. All for $91 on eBay. <laughs> Jackpot!